well over one minute and nine seconds faster than the time of Jens Vogt. But right now, his heart rate is 184, his cadence is 97, it's dropping down, and his average speed is dropping down a little bit more. His 45 kilometer time split is 52 minutes, 1.276 for the 45 kilometer point. Here we go now, into the last uh, seven, eight minutes of this ride. Thank you to all of you who've joined me on Twitter. If you'd like to add anything, hashtag our record. Message me at Ant McCrossan if you would like to. And uh, pass on your thoughts on this hour record as we come up to seven minutes of uh, this effort to go. What time is he going to go past? 51 uh, Point one one zero. He needs to do 256 laps to beat the record. He's at 229. He's getting a little bit more uh, ragged. He has another 26 laps to go to beat the, sta the standard of Jens Vogt. And really now he is having to put all the effort into keeping this bike going forward. He's having to really focus on that black line. He's having to concentrate on lifting the knees and keeping the cadence as high as he possibly can. For a man who has never ridden the track, he's uh, ridden the track for three one-hour segments before he went for the preparation to do the hour record. This is a really impressive performance, but he, if you keep an eye on that black line, he's just wandering a little bit more. 233 laps have been completed. He needs another 23 laps to beat this standard of Jens Vogt and to put his name up there and the dream will be fulfilled. But he has to beat the one hour he has to complete the one hour and he has to complete the laps. Here we go now with the next up point. You can see right on that black line as he goes past the camera. 51.872 now, dropping down a little bit more. At the 49 minute point, he was 51.952 was his, was his standard. He's now at 51.872, he loses another 100 meters. So, is he gonna do it is the big question now. He's 55 seconds ahead, but he's really all over the place as he comes out of turn two and he's all up on the red line. 238 laps coming up now. It is 256 he needs in the one hour to be the one hour record holder. He's into the final five minutes of this effort. It is a supreme effort. He is lifting it as much as he can. His mouth is wide open. You can see his teeth glistening in the flashlights of the photographers as he goes past me here in front of me in the commentary box. He's only six metres away. You can just sense the effort now. The fans are hoping that he can do it. 240 laps. He has 16 more laps to be the wild hour record holder. It is the law of the jungle, the ultimate law of the jungle. Is he going to beat it? Is he going to get the glory? Is he going to stand in the center of that track and be now the name on the top of the board that everyone will want to beat? The sense to me is that he went out just a little bit too quickly. He has got four minutes now of this effort. And his average speed, what is it now? It's uh, dropping down just a little bit more. He's at 48.4 kilometers with uh, 53 seconds of uh, an advantage on that of Jens Vogt. But it really is starting to bite now. It really is starting to hurt. Everybody in this velodrome are totally on their feet. They are urging him on. Another 12 laps will give him it. Another 12 laps of this Eagle 200 meter velodrome will give him the world hour record. Is he gonna do it now as he hugs that line again, goes up onto the red almost as he comes out of that turn two, which has been his real trouble on this track. As he comes into the, the track this time, 
He is looking pretty strong. He looks like he's got himself back together a little bit more. The fans now leaning over. They're banging the boards all the way around this track. It's just a wall of sound. Ten more laps will give him the hour record. 57 minutes, nine. And he's coming up now to the 50 kilometre point in three more laps. He has to uh, beat the times of all the champions that have gone before him. Everyone is going pretty mental in this track. 52 seconds is his advantage. Now he's really pulling himself forward. He has got another two and a half minutes of effort. He needs another few laps of this track. It looks to me like he will be the hour record holder. He looks like he's got himself back together now. Those shoulders are rocking. Oh, he kicks the bike just a little bit as he came into. 250 laps completed. Now, he's done the 50 kilometers. He has uh, beaten the standard of Eddie Mertz. He's beaten Chris Boardman. He has beaten Sosenko. Now, he has to beat the time and the distance. 57, 51, 531 for the 50 kilometers. He comes up to 252 laps. He needs another four laps, and that will be the world hour record. He will be the man who'll stand in the center of the track later, and he will, if he can indeed stand. Chris Boardman couldn't stand after his effort. 253 laps. He has one minute and 20 seconds left to go. The atmosphere in here is absolutely incredible. He comes up now with 254 laps. He has two more laps of this track to go. And Matthias Brendley of Austria, the 24-year-old, will be the world hour record holder. He will beat the standard of Jens Vogt, but it, ooh, he's a little bit over the track then. One more lap and he will do it and everyone will get on their feet and then it will all be about the distance that he puts into and I tell you he's not going to beat it by much he has now done 256 laps he is the world hour record holder now he's going to just have to dig deep how much distance can he put into Jens Vogt it was 51 one, one, zero. he comes round now at 51.4 with 30 seconds left now of this track at one point he was well over 52 kilometers he's not going to beat that i don't think but he might get very very close another 20 seconds he'll do another couple of laps now and then there's a little bit of a calculation he's at 51.6 there's no doubt he's beaten it now we're going to come around he has maybe one more lap in the tank 51.8 and he'll go around he'll complete one more lap of the track the one hour is over He'll come round now, the gun will fire, and he will be somewhere around about the 52 kilometre point. 51.850 is what we're being shown. 51.850. Well, the team all congratulate themselves in the centre. Matthias Brentley of Austria, the 24-year-old, for the first time goes past me on the track and gets out of the saddle. He doesn't go over the 52-kilometre point that he dreamt of. But as he goes round now to the applause of an enthusiastic and crowd that are on their feet, he knows that his now is the record that everyone else will have to beat. 51.850, there might be a little bit of adjustment, but he has beaten the record of Jens Vogt by somewhere around about 740 metres before we get the uh, little bits of change. Uh, Jens Vogt's the record was clocked down from 51.115 to 51.110.